When he joined his stylish wife, Rachel Wise, at the Glam Clooney Foundation for Justice event in New York City on Thursday, Daniel Craig showed his new chic golden quiff. At the second annual Albies Awards given at the New York Public Library, the British actor, 55, famed for playing secret agent James Bond, proudly displayed his new cut and color while tenderly holding hands with the mummy actress, 53. In a stylish blue suit with a double-breasted blazer and coordinating slacks, the former Silver Fox debuted the youthful blonde hairstyle. He completed the look by adding a dark navy bow tie and a white dress shirt underneath. Craig, who was most recently seen riding a bike in London, put the finishing touch on his appearance by donning a pair of slick, black dress shoes with laces. For the glitzy evening, Daniel finished off his ensemble with a pair of glasses in addition to his most recent, timeless hairdo. He was accompanied by his wife, Rachel, who put on a chic performance while donning a figure-hugging gown with a black and silver pattern that dipped to the floor. The sleeveless dress was held up by thick straps that looped around her shoulders and featured a deep v-neckline with a plunging cut for a sensual flare. The Dead Ringers actress added delicate silver bracelets to her right wrist while keeping her other accessories to a minimum to let her outfit serve as the major focal point. Wise carried a black clutch bag with a rectangular shape in her hand to store a few necessities for the star-studded event in New York City. Her thick, dark hair fell in easy waves past her shoulders after being parted in the middle. The delighted pair, who wed in 2011, tenderly clenched hands as they stopped for a quick photo opportunity on the red carpet. When they appeared in the London production of Les Grandes Horizontals in 1994, Daniel and Rachel first got to know one another. Craig was married to his ex-wife Fiona Loudon at the time, and the two had a daughter named Ella, who is now 31 years old. Following their selection for the 2010 movie Dream House, Craig and Wise started dating. In June of the following year, 2011, the couple secretly wed in a small ceremony in front of only four people. In a 2012 interview with GQ, the actor discussed how they managed to keep their wedding out of the spotlight, saying, we got away with it. We did it in secret. And for that, I have a lot of people to thank. The couple had a baby girl in September 2018 as their first child together. Darren Aronofsky, Rachel's ex-fiancé and director, and Henry, her 17-year-old son, are also parents. The Constantine actress revealed a rare glimpse into both her and Daniel's personal lives earlier this year in April and acknowledged that they don't currently have any plans to collaborate again. At this time, I don't believe we will, she said. We truly value our personal time together as a family, in my opinion. In an interview for Sunday Today, she said, and then we go to work separately. We really appreciated that experience, but it also means we can switch it up, she continued. So I can look after the family at home while he works. We can switch. It's probably less optimal if we're both working on something at the same time. A-list stars including Scarlett Johansson and Emily Blunt attended the Clooney Foundation for Justice Albies, which was held at the New York Public Library. The unique award ceremony was established by George and Amal Clooney to put a protective spotlight on courageous justice defenders who are at risk, according to the official website. The anti-apartheid hero Justice Albie Sachs, who received a Lifetime Achievement Award during the inaugural event, inspired the name of the Albies. At the ceremony, Dr. Dennis McQuaigay, a Congolese gynecologist and human rights champion, received one of five awards in recognition of his heroic leadership to stop rape as a weapon of war and save the lives of women in the DRC.